Hi everyone, I'm hopefully going to keep this video as short, sweet and digestible as possible, but I do apologise if it gets a little bit more complicated or I mince my words or whatever else. Um, two things I want to discuss pretty quickly, one of which is avoidance behaviours that a lot of us may encounter as we start to move from you know, this sort of semi-lockdown towards normal life and also becoming reaccustomed with being in the stretch zone. I'm gonna pop a slide up here that will hopefully explain things a little bit better. So firstly, an avoidance behavior is super simply any action that you take to escape a thought situation. That was my kitchen sink. Might have to just leave that in because I was in my flow. <laughs> to do this on a one-off isn't a big deal. But if you continue to do this with one particular task, it can actually be really detrimental and I'm going to try my best to explain why. So typically we have our perceived ability to cope with a task and we have the perceived um, difficulty of the task that we want to undertake. And there's always, or pretty much always, there's some sort of gap between the two. With only a small gap, we can kind of manage this. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but we can undertake it. However, if we avoid that task, the gap begins to grow and we avoid the task again and the gap grows further. And suddenly we've gone from a point where the difficulty of the task is slightly outside our comfort zone, but manageable, to now being so far outside our comfort zone that it's actually in something that we call the panic zone. And this is what we want to avoid. So fundamentally, as we all begin to move back to tasks that we may have used to have done without much bother, we may start to feel a little bit uncomfortable. And all I want to get across for this video is that that's okay. And that the more you persist with these behaviors and, and these given tasks, the more comfortable they'll begin to feel. And you'll, you know, you'll slowly start to feel more integrated back into the way used to live. However, if you continue to avoid these and you continue to, to let these um, sort of impulsive avoidance behaviours get the better of you, it could leave you in a position where you find things a little bit more difficult down the line and that's not what we want. Now, you might be wondering what you're actually supposed to take from this video. And I'll try and sum that up now. So, number one, be aware that these avoidance behaviours may be more prevalent when there's plenty going on that you may not have done for a long time. This could be, you know, being present in an office. It could be that first day back at school, getting the bus in, anything like that, that previously may not have been so challenging, may be quite challenging now. Number two, avoiding these behaviors in the short term might seem like a good option, but moving forward into the next couple of months, it's gonna be really, really important that you give these things a go and get comfortable feeling a little bit stretched. If you avoid them now, they're only gonna feel more difficult and confidence in yourself will only decrease. Now, the third thing that I want you to take from this is more of a self-reflection exercise. Try and remember any sort of time that you felt stretched or challenged in the past and think about what happened and what you personally did that allowed you to handle that situation a little bit better. These are the sorts of things now that will be really useful in allowing you to feel more confident in tackling these situations and trying to get back into your normal routine as best as possible. This could be anything from communicating with friends, potentially you may have tried some breathing techniques before. It could just be something as simple as having a good routine on the day just that um, takes your mind off things. It could be anything like that. Just have a little bit of reflection and do your absolute best to handle the situation, even if it does feel like it's slightly outside of your comfort zone.